Hello, my name is Cora Latte, and this will be the first video of me documenting um, my progress and my process in like a um, very informal way. It'll literally just be me talking to the camera, um, expressing my thoughts about how I'm doing, and yeah, explaining maybe like what I did for the day to work on said um, progression or skill. So um, yeah, today is July 8th. 2019. It is oh, it's like noon. Yeah, 12:13 p.m. Um, I I just uh, officially bought the package for NASM for the certified personal training um, certificate. And yeah, I have this on my computer now. I'm about to start studying for it. I'm gonna create a um, a plan. Um, like a I'm gonna try to take the test in about six weeks. So I'm gonna create a six week plan for me to go over and um, to make sure I'm like being consistent. All right, I have to get a couple things done. But um, yeah, I think I was talking about how I um, just got a uh, NASM certification and I was trying to take the test in about six weeks from now. So today is July 7th. So six weeks from now would be about, so the actual date six weeks from now would be August 12th, so sometime after August 12th, I'm trying to take this exam. Um, August 17th or August 24th sounds really good. So I want to take it before I start classes. So um, yeah, that's just something to consider. Um, I actually just got this package too. Amazon. And yes, there are some things that are gonna help me with my finishing. Stuff along those lines. So digital kitchen scale. I had this. This is recommended by Austin Dunham in one of his older videos. Oh, I need one of these because I'm very responsible. So I have the food scale now. Start recording. But yeah, today it is July 9th. I mean, July 10th. Let me make sure. Yes, today is July 10th. It's 10:27 p.m., so it's pretty late. But uh, yeah, I just wanted to talk about how I today was the first day that I actually started um, counting calories, and this will be like my last meal of the day. It's about 200 grams of ice cream. I know that because I have a food skill, and um, yeah, it wasn't like that hard. And I've always been trying to avoid actually counting calories but I really have hope that I can like start taking it serious because I've realized that this is like very doable and hopefully I'll be able to gain away from that. Um today I did not do anything productive about fully with that. Yeah I was at my friend's house so she, she made breakfast she had to go to work and I came home pretty much that's the extent of my day. So I didn't I watched YouTube. I had anxiety about doing work but like not the fun work personal trainer stuff so I think I'm gonna write up what I'm going to do tomorrow 
but I'm gonna do something tonight at least and I wanna get my calendar um done. So yeah, I think that that's on there. So yeah. I guess I did do something productive today. I actually cleaned my room and my head just feels more clear. I answered emails. I just didn't do the personal training stuff, which if I'm trying to take this exam before I start school, um, mid to late August, and I need to, you know, be getting on that. So um, I'm gonna write up what I'm gonna do for that um, tonight. So I can start that tomorrow, get my head clear, have a good night's sleep, and get up and work out. I also haven't worked out in two days. Um, so yeah, that's quite, no, no excuse for that, but, um, yeah, I, there's, there's no excuse for that. I'm pretty disappointed in that. Then I'm gonna eat this ice cream and get ready for bed. And yes, first day of me tracking calories. It's very doable. It is not hard. It's pretty easy. Just gotta do a little math, and the math gets easier when you're actually, um, in the process of doing stuff. So, yeah, that's all I got for today. Alright, so today is uh, July 11th, 2019, um, this morning I woke up and I started, um, actually, well, I finished reading module one for the NASM um, PT certification um, handbook, PDF, thing that they gave us online, and that was pretty, um, pretty chill, I got 100 on the quiz that they gave us, and they also gave you like lecture videos to go over through all the stuff, and like that was pretty chill. We talked about the OPT model. I forgot what it's, I don't know what it stands for. I should probably look that up, but I know the three um, levels are stabilization, strength, and empower, and there are five phases and all. So within stabilization, there is like phase one, which is a stabilization endurance training. Yeah, I guess the OPT model is types of training. Optimal performance training is what I would assume it stands for. But yeah, phase one, um, stabilization endurance training stage um, phase two within um, strength is strength endurance training then there's phase three hypertrophy training and then stage four is maximal strength training and then power phase four is maximal power training and then for power it's just power something like that I don't know but that was the main thing we went over the OPT model and then um, I learned different things about um, health risk in the body so there's like stuff of obesity and how there's like high cholesterol and it tells you like how those things occur so obesity is um, a lack of insulin being produced by the pancreas and then with cholesterol we learned about I think it's called blood lipids which um, I want to say carry no blood lipids are like cholesterol and triglycerides and they have something to do with cholesterol I'm not exactly sure but those are the basics that we went over. What each phase does, what are the goals. So hypertrophy training, for example, the goal would be to build muscle where maximal power training would be. The goal would be to build, um, to to lift head or whatever. And yeah, and specifically like with phase five of power, the goal is to be strong and have speed or have a high rate of production, which is maximal force with minimal time or something like that. So that's, um, Terms, stuff that I already knew, but it being like broken down into like organized model that I need to be able to remember. So that was pretty cool. And I feel that I'll be able to take the test within the six weeks that I have planned like go through no problem. Yeah. yeah, so let's see how that goes. I'll be back.